All right, so we're gonna rebuild the top end on this 1991 Easy Go golf cart. It's a two cycle. So first thing you're gonna do is take your exhaust off, which means you take these straps off. Take off these two bolts here for this flange and remove the exhaust. Once you did that, take off the two bolts down there believe they're 12 millimeters and that'll remove the rest of your exhaust from the head so once you've got that done you get your exhaust removed go ahead and take these 12 millimeter bolts out there's six of them take off your spark plug here and remove that also so once you got once you got that head removed you'll expose these are the six bolts you just took off on the top you'll expose the top this is your piston right here so that your head will be off and you'll be ready for your next step Next thing you're going to want to do is take off your four intake bolts. As you can see in there, it takes off your intake that goes to your carburetor. Take that off the uh, cylinder. That'll look like that once it's off. Inside here is your reed valves. <clears throat> so once you've gotten that done, you got your intake removed exhaust your heads removed um, you're then gonna need to take off which is tight there's four bolts on each corner of the cylinder you need to take those off those were 14 millimeter bolts once you get those four bolts off And you'll probably, I was able to actually not take this off to get the 14 millimeter off on this side, but I found out it's a lot easier. So there's gonna be um, there's gonna be four bolts. You see one there, one at the bottom. And there's gonna be one over here that that wire's hooked to right there, and then one at the bottom. You take that, those four out, and you can pop your cover to their blower fan cooling fan you can pop it back enough to get to that those two tight bolts in there once you have all four corner bolts removed you will then just simply pull your cylinder head off the piston and what you'll be left with is you'll be left with your piston and then your rod will be coming out I'm just using this as a rod I've already done the job obviously it's too hard to record so uh, you'll be left with your rod basically it won't be coming out of the head but it'll be coming out of the bottom just like that with that your piston is connected to with the pin just like that so so once you're to that point you just got your rod and your piston on each side of the pin you're gonna have one of these you have to get your one of these you're gonna have to get a snap ring tool remove the, this on both sides there's one on each side and each one of these holes in the grooves so once you get those two off find uh, what I had to do is I found a socket that fit through this hole perfectly I uh, put something against the rod to make it so it wouldn't flex too much side to side and I had to pound 
with a hammer in that socket pound out the pen once you do that you can remove the piston from your rod once you have that off you're now ready to start reassembling so your first thing you're going to do is what I like to do is I actually install the rings on it first and to do that you find it's kind of hard to tell because this pistons shot but there's little um, pin marks on one here and there's one on the top right there and you find the opening of your ring you start it in right there and you kind of have to work it around do not flex your rings too much or you'll snap them they're brittle so you got to start it there and you just finally work it around all the way around until it comes down and snaps in then you find your mark for the top and do the same so once you got that done install on one side install one of your snap rings I did it on the fan side because it's the hardest to get to once you do that um, I like to slide I oil up the cylinder and the piston and the rings and you oil your pin um, I slide with using my fingers you don't really need a tool but you can use a ring compressing tool I slide this up just past into the cylinder just past the uh, second ring and once I do that, you want to make sure on these, you want your holes facing your intake side, not the exhaust side, the intake side. So there's no holes on the one side, holes on the other. So once I got that halfway in, I kind of hold the piston above the rod. I slide in my pin. It butts up against the one snap ring I already put in. And then I put that other snap ring in. Then you can set your cylinder back down on the bottom. And <clears throat> obviously before you do that, I did miss a step, but you want to put your gasket on before you install your cylinder again, remember. Um, once you do that, Go ahead and put this back down on. Reinstall your four bolts on the corners and tighten. Now check. Now is the time to check to see if, there's, if your piston is moving up and down the cylinder freely. If that's the case, you're now ready to start installing the exhaust back on your val reed valves back into your new cylinder. And then reinstall the intake, torque down to specs, reinstall your head with the six bolts you took out, reinstall your spark plug, and you're ready to test it and see if it's worked. Now you can see on this piston, I have a, not only where the rings flush on it, you can see the grooves everywhere on this piss especially this is a deep one deep grooving um, the rings were completely shot um, it scored also this piston a little bit I could have honed it but it was 200 bucks for the whole kit so I just re go ahead, went ahead and did that um, it's a pretty simple job uh, it's not that bad it's a two stroke so Anytime you're dealing with a two-stroke, it's not too bad. So the new cylinder pistons kit is installed. Everything's hooked back up. Fans hooked back up. You got your exhaust back in. You are now ready to try it out. And uh, I didn't put the top back on for this. Um, I was having trouble lining up the bolts because this cylinder was a little bit different, but. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. So, at any rate, if you have any questions, please go ahead and drop them in the comment section. 
if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button um, and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.